Kung tayo ay matanda na Sana'y di tayo magbago Kailanman Nasaan may ito ang pangarap ko Makuha mo pa kayang ako'y hakan at yakapin mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Hanggang sa pagtanda natin Nagtatanong lang sa'yo ako pa kaibigin mo Kang maputi na ang buhok ko. Pagdating ng araw, ang kang buhok ay puputi na rin. Sa patay yung mga ngarap ng nakaraan sa atin. Ang nakalipas ay babalik natin Ipapaalala ko sa'yo Ang aking pangako Nang pag-ibig ko laging sa'yo Kahit maputi na ang buhok ko Kahit maputi ng buhok ko kahit maputi na ang buhok ko ah the silly things you do when you're trying to connect with your family from thousands of miles across the world using poor internet so so these uh these sock puppets are uh at the request of my kids i made these sock puppets and uh at the request of my wife i learned that uh tagalog karaoke song uh and since i've been waiting here every night uh without internet for the past week <laughs> trying to get in touch with them um i got the idea to combine the sock puppets with the karaoke song because why not that was fun so uh when you're overseas contracting uh or deployed or whatever um <clears throat> i think it's uh it's very difficult sometimes to keep a good relationship um, with your family uh, because of the challenges involved and uh, I think you know your spouse it's it's easy enough to uh, talk to them on the phone but um, for little kids which I've got um, you know I think there's it's more difficult to have a relationship over the phone so I find that uh, video chat is is really the best way to go and um, but even then you know uh, so, you know, I've, my, I've got a daughter who, um, well, for the last, uh, 2020, I was, uh, kept out of the Philippines due to travel restrictions because of COVID. And so I was gone for a year, um, which is abnormal because normally I'm, I'm there at least 40% of the time, like four times a year. So there's, I get to see them plenty of times, uh, on a normal schedule, but because of COVID I've been gone. So, uh, my daughter who during that time that I was away, she was two all the way to three and my son was three and a half all the way to four and a half, uh, during the year I was gone. So, uh, at first when I was gone for so long and they're so young, um, you know, it was, it was challenging, uh, to interact with them in a way that they liked over, uh, video chats and, um, I was actually watching a show called Away, which is about a five uh, astronauts that go on a mission to Mars. And uh, in the show, there's this really beautiful scene. There's a uh, cosmonaut, Russian, this uh, Russian guy who's very, <laughs> very uh, gruff, manly guy. 
and there's this scene when it's their last uh, last uh, contact that they're gonna have with uh, with their families on Earth before they get out of uh, out of range for for those kind of contacts. And um, he puts on <laughs> he puts on a little puppet show with uh, I think uh, these little puppets he made Lo Locky or whatever the first dog Russian dog in space was. And it's just this beautiful scene, and he puts it on for his grandkids. And, um, anyways, great, great, great show, and and has a lot of commonalities uh, <clears throat> with being away, like where I'm at, uh, missing your family and dealing with that. Um, but anyways, that gave me the idea to uh, make puppets and to also get toys. So I've got uh, I've got all the Paw Patrol uh, figurines, toys. And my kids have those as well, so we'll we'll play and interact with those toys. Um, I've got uh, I've got some other you know toys like uh, antagonists for the Paw Patrol to uh, to handle. So I make little stories, you know. Crikey, that's a crocodile! Oh yeah, but I'm a nice crocodile. Clean my teeth, eh? <clears throat> you know stuff like that. Anyways, uh, also. Got lots of uh, lots of books and uh, even some <laughs> Paw Patrol Mad Libs, which uh, went surprisingly well. Even though my kids are young, uh, they <laughs> they they love this. They laugh crazily uh, when I uh, when I do the Mad Libs for them. And uh, Berenstein Bears, man, what a hit! My kids love Berenstein Bears, so I got a whole bunch of Berenstein Bears books. And uh, yeah, I think. You know, props are a good are a good uh, way to help you interact with your kids. And uh, for some reason, like my little daughter, uh, she loves to talk to the sock, sock puppets. If the sock puppets are asking her questions, she loves to have conversations with them. I guess somehow the play makes it um, easier for her to interact. Or in my son, well, both of them love the Paw Patrol, so that's a big hit too. But I think having props is good. Um, stories uh, that they love, children's books, another another uh, hit there. And I think you know when I read, I try and emote and do like funny voices and uh, be silly and stuff like that. Same thing when I'm playing Paw Patrol. It's all about you know having adventures or being silly or coming up with crazy ideas. So uh, so yeah, those are all things um, <clears throat> to do. And I, I think just. Uh, those are my tips for for anybody who's overseas, uh, away from their from their little little ones. Those are some good ways to interact with uh, little kids. And then, of course, <clears throat> you know, spouses, uh, be as romantic as you can. You know, <laughs> sing songs, uh, write poems, what whatever. You know, keep keep it uh, keep it keep the romance going as best you can. So. Anyways, uh, I hope this is valuable. I know it's not a valuable, maybe not a valuable thing for the majority of my viewers, but I hope that it's valuable for the few that, that it reaches that uh, need it. So, and I, and I do know a lot of contractors, uh, so I'm hoping they'll, contractors with kids, so I'm hoping that uh, they'll get some value out of this. If you are a contractor or uh, you know deployed uh, with kids at home, and you like this video and you think it's useful and uh, you know any other um, guys or gals out there who could benefit from it go ahead and share it with them so anyways hope uh, hope this was valuable to you and uh, I'll see you on the next one thanks